medical checks, no background checks, no vaccinations, oh. and we got to pay for them to come in to our city, and then we get deprived of services because the mayor has said he's going to take care of the illegal aliens first, then before he takes care of the citizens. And that is wrong. That's a shanda. That's right. America's first-generation immigrants. They have come up to me and they have said, Curtis, I had to wait years to come in. I had to be tested. I had to be told to wait in my country of origin until eventually I got the yellow light and the green light. Many have come looking to become citizens and joining all of us, and they've taken a test in history and civics that most of us could not pass. It is a very difficult test, especially I know my three sons couldn't pass it because they don't even teach them civics and history in school anymore. It's a long, hard road, and many of them have left family and friends behind who are still waiting for their opportunity to come in legally, legal, legal immigration. Today, the mayor and Kathy Hochul were dancing the horror because special status has been given to the Venezuelans. They call it the fast track. They cannot be deported. They are the untouchables. And I've been at the Roosevelt Hotel where there are many Venezuelans. Except they have no proof that they're Venezuelans because they have no paperwork. But they speak Spanish. And I don't have to tell you, in the eyes of some of the city bureaucrats, oh, well, if you say you're from Venezuela, then you are from Venezuela. There are no checks and balances. Again, you can declare yourself to be whatever you want to be as an illegal alien. And we have to give you everything that our own Americans don't get who are down on their luck. Those who are homeless. Those who are mostly disturbed. Those who have drug problems. Those sleeping in our subways, sleeping in our streets and in our parks. They get who got. They get nothing. If you're an illegal alien, you know what you get? You get to stay in a three-star hotel, the old Milford Plaza, the Watson Hotel. You get to stay in any number of hotels at taxpayers' expense. Three squares a day. And if you're not happy with the food, the bagel and the schmear, you get culturally appropriate food. Con arroz a trailers, beans and rice, with a chuleta on top, a pork chop, my food, my fungo. And if they don't have it, they'll grub hub it for you at taxpayers' expense. Where are they getting all these motorbikes and Vespas riding up and down the streets to the wee hours in the morning? I've been with veterans on 125th in Lexington where we, the Guardian Angels, patrol. By 10 o'clock, they have to be in their shelter on Ward's Island. If they're not, they lose their bed. The illegal aliens have no curfew whatsoever. Here's a man who has defended our country in peacetime and wartime. He's got to be in under a curfew at 10 o'clock. But an illegal alien can run the sweet streets, smoke weed, drink cerveza at taxpayers' expense. That's wrong. That's got to stop. over to our two other speakers. Ari Kagan, you must help him crush the liar Justin Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. He's an immigrant the legal way, he's going to explain his story. But before this ever came up, Justin Brannan stood on the floor of city council and voted yes to defund the police. What? He lies about it all the time. You look at the list, it's published. You have Borelli from Staten Island, he voted no. 
Let's, let's give an applause to Barone. Yes. But who voted yes and who danced with the speaker at that time and the mayor de Blasio? But Justin Brandon. No way. He says now, no, no, you, you misunderstood that. No, no, we don't misunderstand it, Justin Brandon. You hate the cops. You supported Black Lives Matter. You supported that people against the blue. There's no misunderstanding. When you had the back the blue marches here in Bay Ridge, where was Justin Brandon? He wasn't with the cops. He wasn't with you. He was with Black Lives Matter and Antifa. Along with his congressman, Max Rose. You saw what happened to Max Rose, Justin Brandon. The Kamali attackers kicked your ass. Justin Brandon was for no cash bail. He says, but we don't vote on that in the city council. That's true. But I never saw him stand up and condemn the state assembly or the state senate for voting for no cash bail. And the man who signed it, Andrew Evilized Cuomo, King Cuomo II, the son of Mario Pacha Bruta Cuomo, King Cuomo the first. And to Andrew, for all of those who speak the dialect of Italian, Andrew, Ascendeme, Tutsu, Provino, Sfacci, and like your father Mario, you are. They signed the death warrant to New York State and New York City when they signed no cash bail, and Justin Brandon was with them. Call me a comic book villain. Call me whatever you want to. But I'm a son of Brooklyn, born and raised down the Bell Parkway, exit 13. Yeah. I'm an American before. I have an Italian-American or Polish-American heritage. Amen! We're all Americans, that's what unites us. This flag, the red, white, and blue. USA! 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 You notice, even all the border cities that are under siege, in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California, there have been no demonstrations, have there been? The people have felt beaten. Their politicians abandoning them. They feel all is hopeless. Well, guess what? We proved that all is not hopeless across the Verrazano Bridge in Staten Island when we stood up and said no to the illegals. No to any of those facilities that you're going to put up and call migrant centers. Right now at St. John's Villa Academy, a stone throw from here, grandmothers and mothers surround that facility morning, noon, and night to make sure they don't sneak in the illegals. You saw the great patriots of Staten Island. They got arrested last week when they tried to sneak illegal aliens into a senior citizen home where they kicked out 200 veterans and their families and their wives. I have guardian angels in Mexico City. Very good nightlife to Mexico City. He's going to go to Quito, Ecuador. How many of you have gone on vacation there for medical and dental procedures? He'll come back with a whole new face, a new set of white teeth, at very little expense. And then he finishes his trip. He says to learn about illegals. And the decadent and hedonistic capital of South America, Bogota, Colombia, where the cocaine and the hookers flow 24-7-365. So 
never get them, don't lie to us. This is a vacation at taxpayers' expense. You're like the captain of the Titanic. The crew told you, hey, there's an iceberg ahead. And because you're pretentious, you're obstinate, you think you know it all, you said no, full speed ahead. The moment you see that the ocean liner hits the iceberg, you're the first to jump ship, and you're on your way to Central America, Mexico, and South America. Do us a favor, stay there! I declare myself, because he has been a mayor in absence, as we saw during the floods, where the hell was he? I know, called Sofrito up in the Bronx, oh as he God. followed a hottie, a little shorty out, and didn't wake up until well after the flood started. Hey, Eric, I know everything about you because you got people ratting you out. Yeah. I am your mayor in exile on the island of Manhattan, like Napoleon was on the island of Elba. I lead the rebel faction. Let your politicians do what they must. Let the lawyers go into court and get the temporary injunctions. But I will come back again and again and again to pay rent. Yeah. The for naught if we don't make a change on election day. November 7th, the city council races, very few people know that we have races going on. There are two we're going to talk about tonight. The main one, Ari Kagan, who is an immigrant himself, who will speak next, is battling Justin Brandon, who has sold you out now. This is the third time. No cash bail. Defunded the police and welcomed the illegal aliens into Bay Ridge and Fort Hamilton. On November 7th, in early voting, you got to get people out. Whether you got to put them in a wheelchair, bus, van, walk them there, make sure they do early voting and voting on the day of the election. And alert the next city councilman from this district and kick Justin Brandon out back to being a wannabe rock star. It's very hard to follow. First of all, I would like to thank Councilman Justin Brennan for advertising this rally today. He sent text message to every resident of Bay Ridge. He advertised this rally and now we have a huge crowd. Thank you. <laughs> he also called Curtis Liva and myself all possible names. I can tell you, Curtis Liva is a patriot of New York. He was fighting mafia. People like Justin Brennan, you know, he was fighting mafia. He, he, he has scars to prove it. He's riding on subway every day. He's talking to homeless people every day. He's a soil of New York City. Thank you so much, Curtis, for making us safe. Thank you so much. We love you. This election is not just about me or Justin Brennan. This election is about future of New York City. All papers possible, every day calling about this race, writing about this race, TV, by the way, debates are finally coming. I am so eager to start this debate. Tomorrow is the first one. I would like to debate every day. The difference is so stark, I cannot even start. Talking about migrants, maybe some of you know that Councilman Justin Brennan co-sponsored and voted for a legislation. If you are 30 days in New York City, 30 days in New York City, 
and you have a work authorization. You are allowed to vote for mayor and for city council. That's why. That's why. New York State Supreme Court called this law unconstitutional. And mayor and speaker are appealing this decision of the courts. They want all migrants who will get work authorization to be able to vote after 30 days in New York City. I remember myself after 30 days in New York City. I barely knew the names of the corners of the street. And yes, Curtis is right. Before I became citizen, it takes you five years to live in America. It takes you to learn English. It takes you to learn American civics. And also, by the way, another requirement, good moral character. Yeah! And now we have completely opposite picture. Open borders, no questions asked. Please come and stay anywhere you want. I was asked today many times, why are we doing this rally before we are having any kind of migrant shelter around the corner? Why we are doing it now? I can tell you why. One day.